Hello people, welcome today and uh, it's about uh, uh, society and technology. In our today's uh, topic or uh, vlog, it is about people, uh, I mean society and technology. It is about society and technology. And uh, a society is a group of people living in a definable community sharing the same cultural components. Group of people living in a definable community sharing the same cultural components. In short, it is about people and institutions. Okay? People and institutions. And the best definition of an institution is a kind of a setting. It is a kind of an, an agreeable setting by people. An institution is, for example, a marriage institution, an educational institution, uh, a finance institution, or a, a group of people, or a, a group of a, a, could be companies, or people sharing the same understanding, sharing the, the same ideas, sharing the same agreeable living standards or living, uh, you know, setting, okay? And technology has impacted uh, the society in different ways, both the positive and negative, right? You know, for example, in a church institution, there is a way in which technology has changed the way things have been done traditionally. In an education institution, there are ways in which technology has changed, has impacted technology, that technology, in different ways, maybe negative or positive. And this is what we are looking at today. We are looking at how people and institutions have been impacted, have been changed, you know, by technology, by coming up of technology. And one of the ways in which technology has changed society is by making it a global village. It has made it a small village, the whole world a small village in which people can communicate, in which people can do things even when they are at distance away. For example, it has made communication to be very easy. It has made people who are uh, kilometers away to communicate as if they are just in one room. Nowadays, you can communicate with someone who is abroad, who is in the United States, who is in the United Kingdom, who is in Somalia, who is in Ethiopia, who is in Britain, because of, uh, you know, social applications, because of social uh, 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 applications or so, so, social programs which have come in place. For example, using your WhatsApp, you can talk with someone who is in the US. You can communicate with someone who is in Britain. You can hold meetings with someone who is very far away. You can hold meetings through Zoom. You can hold meetings through, uh, you know, Google Meet. You can make WhatsApp groups and start sharing messages and videos. You video conference and you'll be seeing each other as if you are in just one room. And so this is a factor or this is one of the impact of technology. Long time you'll find that if someone leaves for, 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 for another country, then that person will have to wait for him or her until he or she comes back again so that you can talk with him, so that you can be able to share what has been happening. But nowadays, with the coming up of technology, you can share daily happenings with that someone. You can even, you know, hold meetings. You can discuss, you can video conference. And this is a very good factor that has been brought about by technology. It is a good impact brought about by technology. It has enabled long-distance uh, long, long relationships, 
that people can start relationships, that people can communicate, that people can start even, uh, you know, uh, 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 relationships when they, they, they are far away. I was watching one of the videos by one of people whom I follow in, in YouTube. And the person was saying that because of commit people commitments, because of people being busy, where they are living in the UK, the best way you can even, uh, you know, socialize with, even with a person who are in a romantic relationship with, is through online media. For example, in Facebook or Messenger or video conferencing or WhatsApp. Because physical meetings are a little bit hard because of the way people are busy over there or because of distance, you know, uh, 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 barriers or because of social setting, because of how people have changed on how they do things. Technology has also changed the traditional way of meetings to online like Zoom and Google Meet. It has enabled online shopping and online study. You can now study online and gain your degree, gain your master's, gain your doct doctorate degrees because of the technology. Technology has enabled online classes whereby you can communicate with your lecturer, even submit your uh, continuous assessment cards, or submit your exams, submit your research online and it is marked and you are given your results back. I remember one of the time when I was doing my um, short time courses, I did it, we submitted online and I was able to get my results like immediately, not even one time, like two, three times when I was doing my short courses, when I was doing my CCNA for uh, networking, when I was doing my uh, design applications, when I was doing my computer aided applications, I did it purely online and I was able to get my results back. I even got a, a letter from someone, John, I don't know, remember the name well, John or uh, Joseph Sabody, who was the chief executive, CEO of the institution. I got my congratulatory letter and uh, I was able to use it in many ways because I passed well on my online exams, okay? And so, it has also enabled virtual jobs apart from studies, apart from online shopping, whereby you can buy things online and you get them delivered to your do doorsteps. For example, the way Jumia does it, the way, you know, uh, any other uh, shopping application will do for you. You can be able to shop for your items online and it is brought to your doorsteps or to your office. So it has also enabled virtual jobs, for example, in YouTube, you can be able to do YouTube and you get your money. You can be able to do a lot of other online jobs and you get your money right away uh, online or on online accounts. But in addition, it has also impacted the society differently or um, negatively, in which it has also created some uh, unrealistic world. So that what people are sharing on social media, you could assume that it is the reality in life. It is the reality uh, or the real life that they are having. But when you go to practical, it becomes different. You find things being different. For example, it has led to moral decay in which pornography has become very rampant, very much available pornographic photos, pornographic uh, 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 video clips, pornographic, you know, social media, which has impacted the society negatively because of the availability of technology. People have also become antisocial as they concentrate on their phones and internet gadgets so that you could go and sit with your even brothers and sisters. You could go and sit your, with your friends, but you find that no one is concentrating on one another. Everyone is busy on his or her own mobile phone or computer or laptop because they are, uh, you know, researching on things online. They are looking at their social medias. They are watching their online videos, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, you know. And so you are not able to socialize like physically. So it has created an antisocial world where people are concentrating on their uh, technological gadgets more than on physical, you know, meetings with the friends and people. It has also led to loss of jobs in which 
so many jobs which were being done by people have been given to technology, have been overtaken by technology. There has come applications and the databases, you know, computer systems that can automate so many things which have been done by people, uh, you know, manually or physically. For example, there are finance, uh, 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 you know, applications, there are machine automated, you know, applications uh, which automates machines which can be able to operate with computers instead of physical or, you know, the manual way of doing it, leading to people being, you know, sucked from jobs, laid off from their job places because the work that they were doing physically has been given to machines, has been automated by machines. We have poured, uh, another thing which has uh, been brought about by technology, um, about poor disposal, which is hazardous to environment, as in these technological gadgets that we are using, like mobile phones, like laptops, like computers, like printers, you know, there are special ways of disposing them. If all the computers, all the mobile phones which are not in use are just thrown to the road, are just thrown any, anyhow to the rivers, to dust bins, you know, to the environment, it is hazardous, it is dangerous because some of the components which are used to make these devices are or contain some, uh, you know, uh, harmful metallic components, which if it is, uh, you know, uh, given to people, it will pollute the environment. And the environment becomes, you know, not favorable for people to live in. And so, if it is not disposed well, or poor disposal is hazardous to the environment, it is dangerous to the environment, it is not friendly to the environment. So there has to be that specialized way of disposing our waste matter from technological gadgets. In our previous video, or there is one of the videos which I have given here in this channel on how to safely dispose your, uh, you know, technological gadgets, in which some of it could be like recycling them so that it is made to another useful gadget or you uh, dispose it in a way in which it will not create an environmental danger to the people living around your area or around the uh, area where it is disposed. Otherwise, thank you people for, for, uh, for watching this video. I welcome you to subscribe, to like the video and share to other social media networks in your, you know, social media platforms. Shalom.